and welcome. This is CD coming from the Splitline channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a hard orchestral sounding sample and basically just go over some processing sauce and different techniques to uh, make your sample sound unique. Yeah, it's 2021. Everybody's making samples. Everyone's making loops. You got to make your stuff stick out for people to use it. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to do just that and let's get right into this. So I'm going to play you guys this sample and then just do a breakdown, show you guys how I made it. If my computer doesn't explode. So the first thing I did, I started off, I grabbed this brass one shot from my one shot kit. Uh, link should be in the description. So I don't know a lot about music theory, but basically a method you can do to find good chord progressions is just find a bass line that sounds good and kind of build everything off that, basically. This is a C minor chord. And then I just brought this third note down. So for the second chord, I know I wanted to go down with it. So I basically just took the, like every note from the first one and brought it down a little bit except for this top one to kind of make the chord bigger create like a more open feel and then for this last one just brought up and for this last chord i just used a diminished chord because it kind of segued nice back into this first chord so for the second half of this i basically switch up the chords a little bit just to give it a little bit of um variation just because so yeah after i had all the chords and like different passing notes, whatever. I kind of just layered it. So I got this organ one shot for my kit. Again, link in the description, it sounds like this. So yeah, I just followed the same chords as the, the brass one shot. And what I did was went into the settings here, turned on stretch, and I just boosted up the time a little bit. Gives it kind of a, um, like a distorted type feel. Made the envelope like this, pretty standard. So after the organ, I added this pluck again for my one shot kit. And basically I just did the chords and did all S, strum them. So after I did the pluck, I decided I wanted to add some more layers for the chords. So I found this brass sound in Mellotron that does have a little bit more low end to kind of fill it out, make it sound a little bit more full. So this is what that sounds like, same chords. So yeah, so all the chord layers together so far sound like this. So for the bass, I found this one shot for my kit and I just played all the bass notes, added some, uh, some passing notes, give it a little bit of groove, give it a little bit of bounce and then I also just had the same note pitched up an octave at a few points, just to kind of throw the listener off guard. Sounds cool, sounds interesting. Uh, yeah, this is what that sounds like. So after the bass, I decided I want some more ambient sounding stuff. So I went and found this pad from Mellotron and it sounds like this, same chords and everything. So after I had this pad rendered, I just duplicated it, made unique, click right here, make unique, and pitch it up a whole octave, reversed it and chopped it up so the chords were still the same. So that sounds like this. And then with the original. And you can hear they're kind of like panning in different directions. So it's just a cool, cool effect. Just adds a lot of, um, ambience and just some cool like texture stuff and after that so i made an automation clip for the volume and just kind of like faded it in a little bit but yeah it just kind of gives a little bit more bounce yeah so just kind of a cool unique type thing sample is pretty much done i just added like a few like ear candy type things to really make it a little bit more unique a little bit more interesting 
So I have this texture that I just reversed. And after that, just added these percussion things. And again, did the automation clip on the volume just to cut this one off while this one started and to make this just have a few like little riser effects, give it a little bit more bounce. Then from there, I just rendered everything out and pitched it up a little bit. So I, I made two layers and with one of the layers, I just pitched it up, did the square speed effect, did this halftime effect and another one that just focuses on like a certain range. And then with the other one, again, halftime, pitch it up. I have this under the lava preset from Effect Rack and I just turned the mix down because it's kind of intense, but definitely adds like a little bit of texture. Added this hard tuner from Little Auto Boy again, turn the mix down. Then EQ, just kind of take out some of the frequencies that were a little bit rough. Then Sketch Cassette, I just mess with the settings under gentle modulation. I got this, you can copy it. Just basically brought the age down. A little bit of compression here, a little bit of dropout. After that, just add this EQ, took out everything below like 30 Hertz, just cause you can't really hear it, just kind of add some mud. But yeah, this is the final product. So that's gonna do it for today's tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe. If you wanna stay up to date with what I'm doing, you can follow me. My Instagram will be below in the description. And if you want some of these sounds, I mentioned earlier the one shot kit I used for most of the sounds in this. You can cop that. Link will be in the description, drumify.com. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.